In the third quarter of 2022, we had very strong showing across our infrastructure portfolio. In Toros, we saw traffic that started the uh, a quarter with some seasonality effects in July, but then moved up uh, and ended September in a very strong tone, both in the US and in Canada. If we focus in the 407 ETR, we saw that the uh, uh, traffic was coming back with a higher uh, presence of people in the office. It's still low compared to other uh, places. I mean, it's still like a 32%, 34% presence in, uh, in, in the early October. So, I mean, very good show and still room um, to go. I mean, we also have longer trips and that helps to grow substantially in financial revenues and EBDA vis-a-vis -vis last year. Of course, this isn't like for like terms, because if we take into account that the Canadian dollar was also much stronger against the euro, we also have a, a boost of the currency translation. In Dallas Fort Worth, we also saw the strong performance ending the quarter in the, the best uh, traffic uh, prints um, of the year. And here we can see also that the patterns are going back to um, higher peaks in the morning and in the evening. Of course, in Dallas Forward, we have the advantage of uh, tariffs being much higher, much above inflation, a double digit uh, across the three managed lanes. Also here, I mean, we have not only this like-for-like -like comparison, but also the boost of the stronger dollar. The I-77 in uh, North Carolina also saw this uh, very um, strong performance. If we move into airports, uh, Heathrow clearly uh, improved during the quarter. I mean, traffic has been higher and the quality of service has improved uh, across the, uh, uh, the three months. Uh, in fact, Heathrow has um, upgraded, um, uh, put a higher number of forecasts for the passengers for the year. And it keeps delivering. This is very important. It's lower leverage thanks to inflation and uh, financial performance. The rest of the airports also had a very good summer, and in particular, Dalaman, that was just uh, acquired, had a very uh, strong September number close to the 2019 pre-pandemic uh, figures. Construction kept going on in this um, complicated environment, uh, keeping margins uh, and activity. The most important is that they are managing to deliver all these very um, accretive and value-creating infrastructure. So the main projects are well ahead. The I-66 is almost done. In fact, I didn't mention the pre-opening of a, of a segment uh, in the I-66 that is quite encouraging. In terms of cash, we ended up with a net cash position of 1.1 billion euros. We are investing, we're consuming cash for the good reasons. We are investing in assets like the I-66 that I just mentioned, NTO in JFK, Dalaman Airport. And of course, we are consuming cash in the final stages of construction to deliver these assets. Last but not least, we are also going on with the shareholder remuneration. In terms of the quarter, I would like to mention the sale of Amy. I mean, we reached an agreement to sell Amy to Buckthorn OEP, and this is the final stage that pretty much completes the sale of services. So after this strong quarter, we look encouraged to the uh, outlook ahead with very strong US dollar and Canadian dollar that is where our assets are and looking for their value creation in new assets to come.